Good morning, friends, and thanks for joining me again for this red brick house. As you can see behind me, we've got this old porch that was put on after the house was originally built, and it's falling apart. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and take it apart so we can try and salvage as much of the wood as possible. Hopefully, the rain holds off, and this evening our bricklayer will be back in to start putting in some of the bricks. So it's going to be a great day. Oh, and Channel 29 News is coming through to walk through the house. So be sure to check that out on the news tonight. Well, we're almost finished taking the roof, uh, this porch off of here. So we'll finish pulling these boards off and we'll pull off the rest of the wall here. And my son, Michael, just got me the sawzall. And we'll try and save as much of this wood as we can. Well, looks like the rain is gonna stop us for the day over here on the exterior. But I did just get that part off the house and now it's pouring down rain. Well, that's one of the code violations that the city had that's now taken care of. Hey friends, Mark Holmes here in front of the Red Brick House, and we have a correction to make. I, unfortunately, kept saying that this was Buck. My bad, it's actually Duke. So I'm a big enough man to admit when I'm wrong. Construction work sometimes can get a little bit dirty. So what our bricklayer is doing here is he's cutting open these joints because he doesn't want to disturb them too much. So that way he can pull these out. It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. That's right. It's a dirty job. Right, Duke? That's right. <laughs> start our end of the day video here on the back of the house in our screened in porch here with uh, nice trees and stuff back through here we'll go back on through our midget door here which is actually I would actually bump my head on it and this was the old kitchen right here and we've already opened up the ceiling up here we took the back porch of course off over there and my thinking is 
when we redo this, this window and this opening right here will end up being the new entranceway uh, for the space. And what we'll do is we'll have like a side light, a 36 inch uh, window in there, and we'll build this up to the same height as the rest of the floors in here. That way it can be a handicap entrance. And we'll build a wall right here, so that way we'll still have a nice kitchen and things over here. And we'll have a, we'll cut a doorway in here, so that way you'll be able to go into that office or into this office. And we've been cleaning up a bit. And I just simply am in love with having these walls out and having this as one great big space. I could see a, an attorney having this as their office. So we'll continue the handrail so they'll come down this side as well. But this would make one heck of an office here two fireplaces the windows out onto the city you'll be able to see the plum house over there you've got the mountains back over here and we'll go ahead and finish this section and we'll take this wall out and we'll make this a full bathroom um, back in here so there's a lot of space in this house uh, slash office and we even have almost nine foot ceilings here which makes it really really nice what a day. We made a lot of changes in less than two weeks, and I'm loving every wow. minute of it. Thanks for joining me for another great day here on the Red Brick House, where it seems like things are definitely changing every day. If you enjoy this, be sure to click subscribe, friends, and that way you can get more of the videos of the Red Brick House. I'm Mark Holmes, and thanks for watching. That's where my baby stays